This past week, Michigan State University joined some other high, high profile schools in deciding not to have in person learning this fall. But the University of Michigan has signaled no intent to abandon plans to have students on campus and in classrooms. Grant Herms reports there's concern on campus about potential outbreaks, but there's also a new tool the leadership hopes can keep them a step ahead. The dashboard launched Thursday tracks cases back to March and the university hopes that it'll keep tracking cases as students return to classes this fall. But there are already concerns that it doesn't track cases off campus and it's already been met by criticism with some faculty here at Michigan. The U of M rolling out its new COVID dashboard that, according to the site, tracks cases of both students and non-students, so far totaling more than 7,000 tests since March. Having access to reliable information about what's happening in the campus community is understandably of great interest. Robert Ernest, who heads the university's health services and COVID response, said in a release. But the cases that are recorded must be reported to the University Health Services and the dashboard doesn't track cases off campus, which means it likely won't be able to track the spread crossing between U of M and Ann Arbor residents. There's really a profound lack of trust and lack of leadership that's created a lot of ill will. That I Nora Karnitsky is a lecturer at the U. She protested the return to in-person learning last week because of what it could mean for the surrounding communities. It's people of color and marginalized communities that are going to bear the most egregious harms of the university's reopening plans. Michigan's plans are at odds with other major universities that recently sent students home. Michigan State's president also announcing this week it would be moving to online classes for the fall semester. We made the decision that it was probably safest for our students, our faculty and staff, that we take the actions. For Karnitsky, she said it should be a clear sign for the U of M. It's mostly white fraternities that are going to serve as hotspots for infection, but it's communities of color that are really going to bear the, the burden and, and the harm. In Ann Arbor, Grant Herms, Local 4. Many students living off campus have already moved into their homes for the school year. And by the way, COVID uh, new numbers came out just this last few moments and Michigan has added 374 cases and 10 deaths.